So today I'm just going to go over MAC addresses and what that means and how we find them and what, what they mean in the grand scheme of things and then we'll sort of look at MAC address tables and ARP as we go through. So I'm going to go through this quite quickly but hopefully it's it's quick and, and effective. Um, so I'm just going to start with, with a small, very small network. Um, so just simply a PC and a switch and connect the two together. Um, just as good practice as well, I'm going to console into this switch. Okay, so here we have a, a very small network that we can use just for practice. Um, so on the PC, I'm just going to give that um, an, an easy a, a static email, uh, a static IP addresses that we can remember quite easily. So 192.168.1.2 and the default subnet mask pops up which is 255.255.255.0 So that's our PC done. Um, now I'm going to sort of configure the VLAN um, and the virtual interface on the switch through this console connection on the laptop. So if I just go to, to desktop, terminal, um, so we're in, into connection here, so into the command line, um, hopefully remember our commands. So configure term, enable configure terminal, um, and then we want to sort of, it's good practice is change the, the host name of the switch. So let's call it S1, it can be anything, you know, if it's a, a loca physical location, it can, you can change it to the to location, or change it to your name, change it to your name. Um, I'm just going to disable um, domain lookup just to speed things up. Okay, um, and then I'm going to go straight into configuring an IP address on, on VLAN 1. So select the port and then um, we'll give it a simple IP address that hopefully we can remember. So 1.3 this time and then we need a subnet mask. So we'll give it the default. And that's the IP address configured. Remember, switches and um, ports are, are disabled by default, so we need to turn it on. So no shutdown. And then end. And exit. Okay, so that's got the um, IP address for the virtual terminal configured. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to find the, the actual MAC addresses of, of the devices now. So. On the PC, again, you can do this from your, from your home PC if it's Windows based. Just simply go into command prompt and type ipconfig slash all. Okay, so that's giving a lot of information here. And what we're looking at here is the physical address. So the, the MAC address is the physical address. So here we, here we have of the MAC address of this PC. And what I'm interested in here is them first three blocks of two, so the, the first three octets, so the 00605C. Okay, so if I just bring up a website here to show you, so it's mac to vendor.com, um, and then if I type in the the first three, the first three octets, so 00605C, 00605C, and then hit query, so it's giving us Cisco system. So at home, if you did this exercise, you might have a Dell, P a Dell laptop, Dell PC. You might have a, a Lenovo. If you type in the th first three, so that's called the OUI. So it's burnt into the to the um, the network card. It will give you the the the, the actual vendor of the of the system that you that you're using. So it's useful if you if you're working remotely to find out exactly what you you're working with when you can't see the actual stamps on the front of the of the laptop or PC. Okay, so if I just minimize that for now. Okay, so that's on the PC. Now, on the switch, we need to do something quite slightly different. So if, again, if I go into my console connection um, and the terminal, and then I'm back into the, this uh, connection again. So if I just type enable, and then I'm looking at the actual port, I want to look at that port that I've just configured, so it's show interface, interfaces, uh, VLAN 1, and again we've got a load of information here, we've got the IP address that I configured previously, um, and we've got the MAC address here, so that 
that BIA, BIA means burnt, burnt in address, so um, it's hard coded into the hardware. So again, I want to look into these first three octets on that website. So um, 00 D0 FF. So 00 D0 FF. And then look it up. So Cisco again. So obviously, we're using packet tracer here. Um, they're both Cisco devices. Um, I know Cisco don't make PCs, but it's a Cisco tool. So it just just for this activity, it's showing you showing you what them them devices actually are. So it might be worth trying this from home, um, and and just sort of getting your head around how how that actually works. Okay, so if we just just delete this now, so hopefully we've got a bit of understanding how we find sort of vendors. So if I just delete this network, um, yes, I want to delete it, right. Okay, so this time I'm going to create um, a slightly bigger network. So we're going to have two switches and two PCs. Again, connect them via cables. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what we're going to go through now is we're going to look at um, MAC address tables. So obviously we've got a lot more going on in this network here. So we're going to configure um, an IP address on each device. Um, and then we're going to look at um, how what that looks like in, in, the, in, a, in a bigger picture. So if I, if I just give these PCs IP addresses first. So 192.168.1.2. I'll give the other PC.3. Okay, so notice it's giving the, um, the subnet mask uh, by default, which is 255.255.0. .255 um, okay, so I'm going to again bring a bring a laptop in console into these these devices okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give again I'm gonna configure the the virtual terminal so if we go to um, terminal and then we've got enable configure terminal and then we go interface One and then IP address nine two dot one six eight dot one dot four this time two five dot two five dot two five five dot zero and then again no shutdown and end that okay so that's that one and then I'll give this one um, dot five. So all these devices now have IP addresses. So if I um, go into um, command prompt, say on this um, PC here, and type ARP. .a. So I've got no uh, no um, addresses listed. So that means no communication has existed on this network yet. There's nothing in the the ARP table. Um, but hopefully we'll, we'll we'll sort of show what that that means and rectify it so this pc was um dot dot two 
So I'm going to ping this PC, which is, is dot three, and then let's see what changes that actually makes. So ping 192.168.1.3. Okay, so I've got a working network here. Now, if I type in the ARP.A, so now I have got an addresser, so it's remembering or it's storing that IP address that it's made a connection with and the physical address. So it's linking the, the IP address to the MAC address of these, the devices that I'm making a connection with. So that's the device on the other side. Okay, so if I ping one of the switches, it's 1.4 say, hopefully I get a, a reply. Yep, so, so, the, so it's just creating that connection. If I do it again, I shouldn't have a drop packet. Okay, so now I've got, got a working connection. And now, as you can see, I've got now two um, addresses stored in, in my ARP table. So again, the, 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 the IP address is linked to the, the, the MAC address of these devices. So let's throw the other one in there was 1.5 so um, it's just a bit slow on the first instance of the first communication so again, I'll just make that a bit better or a bit quicker and then again okay so now we've got all three devices on this network that it communicates with um, with the IP address linked to the MAC address. So that's what ARP essentially does. It's it's linking a device's IP address to a, to a MAC address. Okay, so what does that look like on the switch itself? So if I look like, if I, I've got a console connection here, so if I go into the terminal and then show MAC address table, what we'll see is we've got um, all the MAC addresses listed that it's, it's communicated with on this network. So you've got two methods there of seeing MAC addresses um, from the from the Windows based or the um, how it would look like on a, on a physical PC with the ARP. Um, you've got a bit more detail, um, but essentially when we're making connections or devices are being connected, it's storing these physical addresses um, in a MAC address table. So a MAC address table on a switch is stored in the hardware in older devices such as a bridge it was stored in software so it's, it's a lot more um, it's a lot quicker these days in switches it can be um, you know tr um, translated in, in real time so the, the speed that you're, you, you're seeing you get a wire level can also be done on the switch level so no times lost effectively um, so hopefully that explains what MAC addresses are what ARP is and how you find the manufacturer of a device simply. Okay.